And I need to remind you over and over again of the authority of scriptures. I can remember after I'd been converted two and a half years and God called me to preach, I went off to a university, a Christian university. And there were some there that were not as conservative as I would have thought and later the same thing happened in seminary. And I remember one of those fellows saying, oh, John, don't get so upset. We're just going to dissect the word of God. I thought, you know, I'm not real smart, but I did take biology and we used to dissect frogs and they never hopped again. And I want you to know, friend, that the Word of God is not yours to dissect. The Word of God is that which dissects you so that you might be able to hop for the glory of God. It is the absolute truth. However, in the 21st century, we've been so influenced by moral relativism and in recent research by our good friend Tom Rayner, I want you to listen carefully to me because I want to make some statements about whether we believe what I'm going to preach this morning. If you were born in what's called the builder generation between 1927 and 1945, from your generation, the best we can tell, 65% of you still believe the Bible is the absolute truth of God. I have said in the largest senior adult conferences held in this nation in recent days that if Jesus Christ tarries and when the senior adults of this generation pass on, the landscape of the church of Jesus Christ is going to be incredibly different unless we experience a revival. I mean, something from heaven happens to intervene to change the direction we're going as a nation. Now, moving on, these are the ones that have embraced the absolute truth. But the boomers, which happens to be the generation that I'm from, called baby boomers, born between 1946 and 1964, where there was 65% of the builder generation that believed the Bible's the absolute truth, it has dropped now in my generation to 35%. That means that when I preach, there's potentially 65% uh, of the people that say, well, that's just what the Bible says. No, that's what God says in the Bible. And then as we move on, we come to the buster generation. They were born between 1965 and 1983. It drops to an even lower to a dismal 16% who believe in absolute truth. We've got our work to do with the generations coming behind us. However, for the bridges, bridgers or the millennial generation born in 1984 and later, only 4% believe in absolute truth. So no wonder there's no commitment to God's word. And I've never done this before, but I want to encourage you to do something as your pastor. Now, I realize I put God's word up on the screen, and you can read along. You can follow my sermon. You can pull it off the Internet. But let me tell you what you don't need to ever replace. Don't replace the word of God with what's written on the screens. And we put the word of God up there, but bring your blessed Bible with you. Fall in love with the Bible. Thank God for the absolute truth. You want to know what God thinks about a subject? Read your Bible, and God will flat tell you 